Hey guys, welcome to another Tip and Trick Tuesday. Uh, today though, we need to talk about Apple and iCloud. Is it just me or is Apple constantly trying to get us to buy more iCloud storage? Uh, and, and it probably makes sense. I mean, if you got everybody just to pay that 99 cents a month, like all of the iPhones and iPads that are out there in the world, for the smallest edition of iCloud storage, Apple would make a crap ton of money. Now there's a newer feature in iOS uh, called iCloud Photo Library. Um, and it's a big culprit in this now. Uh, so m most people actually run out of their iCloud storage just from backups, right? So just from having to back up your phone and having multiple different iPhones and over time, we pretty much, most people, run out of that storage already. iCloud Photo Library adds to it in that it basically, the theory behind it is that it lets all of your devices, your iPhone, your Mac OS devices, take all of their photos and put them all up into iCloud so that you can access them from all of them and that's lovely and great. The problem is, is that that eats up so much of the iCloud storage. It's basically, if that feature is enabled, you're guaranteed to run out of the free storage quickly and easily. Thankfully, there is a better way. I suggest that you turn off iCloud Photo Library and instead use a free service like say, Google Photos that will back up an unlimited number of your photos and it will do it for no money at all. And you can also access it on a bunch of different devices, etc. So, in order to do this, first we're gonna turn off iCloud Photo Library by going to Settings, tapping on Photos, then turn off iCloud Photo Library. Next, we're going to get Google Photos. So we're gonna to go to the App Store, search for and install Google Photos. It is, again, free. Once it's installed, you're gonna log into your Google account or create a free one if you don't have one and tap the menu icon at the top left. Then you can tap the gear icon to get to settings, tap backup and sync, turn it on and leave high quality as the size. Now with that high quality uh, setting as opposed to full resolution, you get unlimited backup and storage. Now if you do the full resolution, it gives you a certain amount and then you do eventually have to pay. But here's the funny thing. Google lists high quality as anything up to 16 megapixels. The new iPhones, all of them, the 10, the 8, the 8 Plus, they have 12 megapixel cameras. So all of your photos would fall under that category and they're all backed up for free at full resolution because it's under the 16 megapixels. Now also on that same page, select when to back them up. I have it set to cellular data since I have a high usage plan, but you can set it to Wi-Fi if you wanna conserve data. Then go back to the main Google Photos page and tap on assistant at the bottom left and it'll tell you how many photos it has to back up. I highly recommend leaving this page open and the phone plugged in for the initial sync and then just opening the app once in a while to make sure that it continues to back up new photos and videos. Now you can also access any of these photos on any device by either installing the Google Photos app on that other device or by going to photos.google.com and logging in. Now, if you wanna take this one step further and I recommend it, but it's up to you, um, I would then also stop iCloud from backing up any of my photos as well. I do this on all of my iOS devices. I let it back up everything else, like the keychain, Safari data, all that fun stuff, my contacts, all that, because it does a really good job of doing that, but all of that takes up very little storage. The thing that takes up most things, and I've mentioned this in another video, I'll link below if you wanna check that out, is photos. So with Google Photos installed on the phone and making sure that that's backing up all the time, I no longer need this in iCloud as well, and this is a quick way to get a lot of that storage back. To do that, head to settings again, tap on your name, tap on iCloud, then tap on Photos and turn every option off. Tap on Manage Storage so that we can remove the photos from iCloud now. And tap on Photos in Storage. Tap Disable and Delete, read and confirm what it says, and hit Back, and check out how much more storage that you now have, and then change your iCloud plan back to the free one and just rejoice. And there you go, uh, of course, this may not be for everybody. If you like some of those iCloud features, obviously, you know, that's up to you. And you don't mind paying for the iCloud service, then that's also up to you. 
Uh, but hope this helped some of you out that don't really give a crap about iCloud and just want to stop paying it and have an unlimited backup source. Google Photos are just awesome too, by the way. Like you could search for everything, um, it you know, without ever having to like tag anything. It's pretty cool. But that's it. Hope it helped you guys. Let me know in the comments below if it did um, or other reasons why maybe you don't want to do this and some people might need to know that. I think it'd be good for other people to know why you keep iCloud and pay for it or whatever. Uh, let, you know, put that in the comments below. Uh, also, let me know what you think about Tips and Tricks Tuesday. It's a new thing I'm trying out, so would love to hear your feedback on it and let me know if there are any tips and tricks you'd like me to tackle. Otherwise, though, uh, if you like this video, please thumbs up it or share it. Also, don't forget to subscribe. All that is greatly appreciated. And uh, as always, regardless, thanks for watching.